the hello it's me in a different space this is my bedroom I'm not showing you the bed because it's not made right now and also the mattress has a slow leak in it and I'm in a mood where because it's still kind of cool in the evening sometimes I just feel like cocooning in a bunch of blankets like a cat so anyway in a completely unrelated area <laughs> since nobody really ever asked me for this but I'm going to do it anyway because I haven't done a lot of uh, try on videos and outfit videos like I wanted to I'm going to just randomly show you some of what's in my dresser today we're just going to do my pants and it's not all of them obviously some of them are in the wash the scarlet darkness bloomers I wore those yesterday to work so they won't be included in this, but you have seen them in pictures on my Facebook, occasionally in a video here. So that's one of the few pairs you won't see. And I will show you some and they can be used as. This is a pair of jeggings from Walmart, plain black. Like I said, if you're on a budget, you can Pair that with anything and it'll look fantastic. These are some plain old stretch pants I got from my sister. They're a dark charcoal heather. Heather is not necessarily goth per se, but again, paired with the right top and right shoes, it can be perfect. And these are from a thrift store haul I did. Black and white polka dot, I love it. Again, to me, it's goth. I have my own way of doing things, as you know. And Yes, from the Hall of Infamy, we have these. The string needs to be redone and the elastic is rolling. But again, they're kind of from when I was trying to do a carnival goth kind of thing. And I'm still kind of doing that a little bit. Bloomers, kind of not boho, not cottage core or anything to be anything, but just me combining bloomers with shirts and whether to whatever to other tops I feel like it. These are supposed to be capris, but on my on me they're high waters. They faded out to a nice shade of worn out kind of again charcoal gray. I don't wear these a lot to work because they need a belt, and I don't have a decent belt right now because belts are bulky. And me being the shape I am, I'm not overly fond of the way I look. Uh, my back is concave, which makes me look heavy from the side, no matter how much weight I lose. So I'm com not comfortable showing a, that part of me too much. And belts just accentuate the bul the bulkiness. And these you've seen. These are one of my online finds. I don't wear them to work because, well, they're made, meant to be like Lolita as a pair of bloomers under something. So they are tad thin. So if I would, would wear them to work, they would have to be under another pair of shorts. And I, did, I was going to do that one day when I went to the store, but I took the top layer off. And for goth punk, you can't go wrong with PVC or vinyl pants. Oh, another pair that you're not going to see here are my plaid, red and black and pink plaid slacks. They're also in the wash. I got them because I thought they were Stuart Tartan. They're not technically because they do have pink in them, but... I like the way they look with a with my heavy wool blazer and my hooded t-shirt chain sneakers to me it gives off a 12th doctor vibe which is kind of cool I don't mind doing that so that's another pair you won't see here these I just got recently they're bell bottoms stretch pants from Walmart and I'm being photobombed yes. ah, ew. hi bye and these are low-rise jiggings. I don't like low-rise because the way, again, the way I'm shaped, they fall down. And I need a belt, which again, adds to the bulk that I don't like. So that's those. And those pair of pants just got wrinkled. Next up we have these. I got these, you saw these from a Steinmark haul. Again, not goth, but black with lace. Again, 
with proper styling, it can be dressed up kind of a cat business casual goth um, or whatever you want to do. Again, it depends on the top and the shoes and the accessories. You can dress it up or dress it down. And my favorite pair, any these burnout looking ones, again from Walmart. It's one of those places where you never know what you're going to find. And the pair that I've got on right now are a channel favorite that I've had since the beginning pretty much. With you know, my Davy Jones date this, I like to pair them with this shirt quite a bit and also the You're Freaking Me Out because the, I like the color scheme. Again, from the Inf Hall of Infamy, we have these. And they look really cute paired with that other pair of bloomers I showed you. It's just that it was a bit extra. The one day I was just going to Kroger to pay bills or whatever, so I decided I was just going to do just the one pair. And I've also done it to Walmart on a day off to pay bills and stuff again. Extra large shirt or a pair of boy short type under underpants to, you know, add some shading. And then this pair, I guess they would also be in the Hall of Infamy. My attempt at making a pair of pants from a pattern. I had to shorten them quite a bit. This is the pair that I did that had, I put, I think I showed you, that had the pumpkin on the bottom. Because I thought it would look cool, but it, they were way too long. And I would have needed really big stacks to wear with those pants. So it's going to be kind of like the bell bottoms that I bought. They're way too long. I'm going to need extra thick shoes or a way to roll the waistband to make the pants shorter. So there you have it. That's my pants. Um, we have a few minutes. Um, if you want, we can do a few other things. I could show you some t-shirts. Or I could just let you go. Because you've seen quite a few of my t-shirts already. Maybe I'll show you a couple. Why not? We've got a few minutes. Okay. And along with the one that I've got on, I bought this one. This is a haul I showed you from What on Earth. And we have, again, again, you're not going to see everything because a lot of us in the watch this. I bought this shirt before I saw the movie. And then I watched the movie online. It's interesting. It's not BBC canon, Doctor Who, but it's a spin-off, not really a spin-off, a takeoff. I don't know what you'd call it. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's just very interesting, very vintage. And this is from Rebel Donuts. I, you know, one, I like the skulls and the wings and their coffee is amazing. I've done a haul for that here. Got a plain pink shirt. We're not going to look at that. Another one I've had forever, but Walmart tends to not keep the cool stuff. They get some cool stuff and then they get more cool stuff and then they get really dumb stuff. But this one is one of those vintage looking things that's made to be uh, designed to look like it's old and worn out. And some other time I'll show you my leggings. We're just gonna do We'll do leggings and long sleeve t-shirts some other time if you want. This is my one of, another one of my new favorites. It's not spooky, but it's freaking cute. It's kind of like the other gray one. I have little fat round balls that look like baby fat bats. That one's from Emma and Sprout. I bought that one just recently. I have my Abathus Apothecary shirt, which you may or may not have seen. And... We'll do a flip on that one real quick. And then one more. There's a Via Miriam shirt in here. It's nothing major, so I'm not going to pull that one out. But this, that's not her current address. Right now she's across, unless they've moved again. They're, if you're living in Albuquerque, they are in the shopping center, or one of the shopping centers or strip malls, across from the Walmart that I work at on Wyoming and Manal. Oh, what is that? Is that cat hair or is it my hair? Oh, it's my hair. And we're going to finish this off with another Doctor Who shirt. I had the girl who waited, but it got too small, so I donated it. But this one I'm keeping. This is from, well, it's a mash. It's a, it's 
from basically the episode with the flat people, the ones he called, I guess, flatline or flat, boneless, the boneless, yes. The episode with the boneless where the doctor was in the TARDIS and the TARDIS shrunk and Clara suggested he do like the thing from the Adams family and just flip the TARDIS and walk it with his hand, which he did. And this basically was an um, is an homage to that because they've got Clara as Wednesday with the bit only with huge Clara's huge blow up eyes and the doctor as thing. So that's it for now. If you like this random video and want to see more of those things along the lines of like a what's in my bag, what's in my closet, this was what's in my dresser. Look, we'll, we'll call it what's in my dresser part one. And uh, have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed World Goth Day yesterday. Uh, I tried to. I had to do a 2.30 to 11.30 shift. So I didn't have time in the morning before I went to work to do anything. And my mind was so, so wrapped around work lately. And concentrating on other things to do with home-wise and trying to get a house. Just I just knew... May 22nd was World Goth Day, but I just didn't plan anything this year. And again, I apologize. If you've seen my other videos, you'll notice that I did at least do something. This is the first year so far that I haven't done anything special since I it was initialized that it was World Goth Day. There were several years before that I didn't know it was a thing. But once I knew it was a thing, I tried to do something. I'm rambling. <laughs> but anyway, yes, if you want to see... Um, some of my older World Goth Day videos, they will be down in the list of videos if you want to check those out. Um, the World Goth mini video I did for yesterday, and this is probably not going to be shown on the 23rd. So FYI, I'm filming this on the 23rd of May, day after. Okay, um, my, you know, I, I'm wearing the bloomers that I aforementioned with my Freaking Me Out shirt, which is another outfit that I like. I was going to do my Ross Homerson's with those, but because of the weather, my feet were hurting, and I went with Rocket Dogs, which are my most comfortable, big, boxy shoes. So check that video out, and if you want a more detailed World Goth Day video where I'm doing more things, look at my videos under for in my channel under World Goth Day and hopefully they'll pop up. So on that again, I'm gonna let you go. I may or may not put this up today because I posted a video yesterday for World Goth Day and it was like five days in between videos. I've been trying to do every two days to get caught up so that way with when I have more recent ones I can put put them up. So I may just go ahead and put this one up anyway. I've got three videos that are older that come, should come before this, but I might, I'm might i gonna make them wait until after this. So I might just go ahead and put this up today and get caught up because like I said, I was trying to do every two days to upload the backlog of videos that I do have because I normally don't have a backlog, but right now I do. Anyway, okay, <laughs> now I will leave. Thank you for visiting my humble abode. Uh, this is just part of my bedroom, like I said. Uh, it needs some work, I need to obviously do something with the bedding. Um, there's stuff piled on the dresser. I'm still putting away clean laundry. So this is all you're going to see in my room for now. If you want to see more of my room, I can always do another apartment tour or a bedroom tour. Again, I'll leave that to you. Uh, again, remember your reverse masquerade until we no longer have to do that. Um, again, remember, always remember to wash your paws and claws. Pandemic or no, because it's just a good thing to do. If you don't have access to running water uh, or hand sanitizer, I'm not sure how to address that right now, but hopefully somebody can provide you with something. Stay safe. Keep it dark, keep it weird. Hopefully there will be more Halloween coming up because June is next month and the stores should hopefully have things this year. Last year was, there's rather a dearth of items due to the pandemic, but hopefully we'll get caught up. And that's, I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all. Bye.